Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're going to be sewing up another free pattern. So I love doing this little free pattern sewing tutorials because I know that sometimes we want to get into sewing and we want to sew something up but we're not quite sure if we're gonna like a pattern or we're not quite sure if we're gonna like the pattern designer and the way that their clothing fits or their size chart or anything like that. So this is a little bit of a help for us to check out some of their free patterns first before we dive in and buy all the other patterns that cost money. So today I am working with Love Notions um, Laundry Day Tee. Now this seems like a really perfect pattern. I've got nothing but good reviews on it. People have told me that they loved it, uh, they love the fit and everything about it. Um, I've never sewn anything up from Love Notions so I don't have any previews, previous like uh, thoughts on what how it's gonna fit or anything like that. So we'll see how it goes. The one thing I will say to start off with, I love that this pattern has tons of options. So it is a free pattern, but it's got the options of, it, it could be a shirt, it could be a dress, it could be a v-neck, it could be a regular neckband, it has different uh, length sleeves. So in that right there, I'm really excited because I feel like this pattern could be versatile for many, you know, making it many different ways. Um, this pattern is a little bit fitted at the top and it kind of swings out a little bit. So it's kind of like a swing dress, swing top, whatever you call it. <laughs> and um, the pattern also has uh, printing instructions and it also tells you what pages to print for what type, how you're gonna make the pattern. As in like I'm making a dress, so it told me what pages to print for the dress um, and I thought that was pretty neat. I am going to go with the dress version like I said and I'm going to do a v-neck so we can go over that and I'm doing a three-fourth, three-quarter sleeve sleeve, three-quarter sleeve sleeve, three-quarter inch sleeve. So. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, for this sew, I'm going to be using my serger, but if you're sewing with knits, you can go ahead and use, well, this is a knit pattern, so you will be sewing with knits. You can use your sewing machine. You just need to make sure that you use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine as you're sewing. Um, any stretch stitch could be um, zigzag stitch, lightning bolt stitch, anything like that would work. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my um, shoulders and I'm gonna sew them right sides together at that shoulder seam. Now I'm gonna go ahead and once that shoulder seam is sewn, I'm gonna open up that bodice and here is my sleeve, uh, my arm side. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sleeve. Now I'm gonna mark it in half. Oh, actually, why am I talking about? It does have the little markings already on the sleeve. So there's my half because I, when I cut my pattern out, I made sure I noted that. And I also marked my back of my pattern because this uh, pattern is cut um, mirrored. So you've got two pieces that mirror each other. So the, the uh, sleeve is different on the back and the front. So you need to make sure which one's the back and which one's your front. I'm matching them right sides together at that raw edge and pinning or clipping. And then we're gonna go and sew that sleeve on. There are different kinds of threads that you can use on your sewing machine that are for um, knit fabrics. Um, because I'm using my serger, I'm using a woolly nylon on my serger, my two loopers, and then on my other one, I'm just using regular cone thread, serger thread. Um, but if you wanted to use your sewing machine, I know I've gotten this question before, um, you could use your sewing machine with a stretch uh, thread on there. I know that there's a couple different companies that have stretch thread for sewing machines. I think Mettler is one of them. I know that um, I also have used Eloflex from Coates & Clark. Um, to the, it's a stretch thread and then you can sew with that you can sew a stretch a straight stitch on your sewing machine instead of having to use a stretch stitch uh, for this project I'm using double brush poly which I love it's like that soft buttery uh, fabric but it can be a little bit difficult to sew on a sewing machine sometimes so if it is difficult for you make sure that you're using a ballpoint or like stretch needle on your sewing machine and then make sure that you are taking into account that seam allowance so that your foot holds your fabric down and that that fabric edge doesn't go under your plate sometimes when you're sewing in a sewing machine your foot tends to want to pull that fabric down with it and that's when it starts like jamming in so you want to make sure that you have a little bit of fabric on the other side of the foot so that it stays above the plate above the, the um, so it doesn't go under the plate 
Let's go sew those. All right, now that my sleeves are on, you can move on and do your neckband. Some people like to do the neckbands before they do their sides so that they can manipulate the dress a little bit better. I really don't know that it makes much of a difference to me, so I just go, usually go ahead and finish that off and then I go to the neckband, but this is up to you. What we're doing now is we're grabbing our dress and putting it right sides together at the outer seam to match up those raw edges of your side seams and all the way down your sleeve. Let's go sew that up. All right, our dress is pretty much done. All we need to do is hem it and work on our neckband. I am going to be doing the V-neck neckband. And as you can see, when I cut it up, when I cut up my neckband, I did not cut the, <laughs> I guess I call it a snake tongue. I did not cut that V right there at it because I'll tell you why. Hold on, let me get this all set up. Because when we're going to our sewing machine, we're gonna have to sew down and up where that seam is right there. And sometimes when, if we do, if we, when I cut it out, I only have a little bit of fabric holding me back from going into that sewing machine. And like I said, I like to have enough fabric so that my machine doesn't eat my fabric. So what I like to do, instead of cutting the V, I like to go ahead and mark my V um, with a water soluble pen, and then I know where my V is supposed to go, and I go in my seam allowance and go right underneath it and sew up my V on my sewing machine. So we're going down to the bottom, turn and go up to create that V neckband right there. Um, but I, a little trick that I like to do is just go ahead and mark it instead of cutting it. That way my fabric doesn't get eaten by my sewing machine. All right, so either we can start from that edge or wherever you wanna start, whatever you're comfortable with. Try right, not to run over those pins. Stop at the V, turn around. Go back the way you came. And there's my V. Now I can grab my scissors and I can go ahead and trim where my pattern asked me to basically trim. Now I cut that. And that I think it's easier to do than if I had it this short to begin with because then sometimes it tries to get under my sewing machine and it gives me a hard time. I'm also gonna trim all the way up to pretty much where the thread is. Don't cut your thread here on my neckline. So now that neck band is prepped and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and fold the V. So open up those seams and you can steam them open. And then we're gonna put them right on top of each other and here is my V right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fold all my neckband, wrong sides together all the way around and steam it. So now my neckband is prepped. There's my V-neck. So we're gonna grab our dress, right side out. There is where my point is. We're gonna grab our neckband. It should be right there. So we're gonna go like this. And right where that point is, we're gonna go this way to the point and sew with our sewing machine. I'm gonna go in with my sewing machine and sew about an inch away from that point. Go up about an inch. Then I will turn my neckband and go again the other way up about an inch. So I'm gonna start over on this side. So I'll start like this and I'll show you in my sewing machine. And start and go, and then I'll stop. I'll start up here, stop right there, turn it and go up. All right, so I'm gonna start, like I said, even out that neckband. Start about an inch away from the edge. And we're going to go all the way down to that point. Can 
making sure my fabric is cut underneath. When I get to the point, I'm gonna lift up my foot, leave my needle in there, and I'm gonna turn the other way, align my fabric, with my, my neck band. Put my foot down and go the other way. About an inch. So now when I remove it, and turn it, you will see that your neck, your V-neck, is finished. All right, to finish up sewing that V-neck, we're just going to mark, I like to quarter my band, so go from the front to the back and find that back point. I like to do a little notch, um, just big enough that I can see it, but it won't matter once I sew it on. And then I'm gonna go from, touch the back and the front and go to the sides, mark my quarters. Now I just have to do the same to my dress. My, my shoulders, match my shoulders together and go to the back and that's my back point. And I already have a front point because of my V-neck, that's my front, so I don't, have to, I don't have to find the front. So all I have to do is match my front V-neck point with my back neck point and go to one side because my shoulder seams are not my quarters. So make sure that you find your sides because if you use your shoulder seams, your neck band is not gonna be even. I'm gonna look very good. And then you're gonna match up those raw edges and match up those quarter points with your quarter points. And then we'll sew that on, stretching lightly. And then we just, after that, we just hem and we are done. This actually was a pretty quick sew. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and steam for my hem. That way they are ready to hem and I can just hop right over to my cover stitch. I'm using a cover stitch to hem, which is not the same as a serger. It's a machine that is just strictly for top stitching and hemming and stuff like that. Um, you could use, if you wanna use your sewing machine, you can use your sewing machine. You'll just have to use, again, a stretch stitch or some kind of, um, like double needle or triple stitch, something like that would be fine. For the hem of the skirt, the bottom of the skirt, because it's a wide hem, if you wanted to do, use a straight stitch, I wouldn't tell anyone. I think it would be fine because you don't stretch on it. The reason why we wanna do a stretch stitch on our hem is because like on our sleeve, our sleeve is snug, so when you put it on and you stretch the fabric, if you don't do a stretch stitch, you're going to pop the stitches. So this is why we have to use um, a stitch that stretches as you pull on that fabric. Um, also, because we're working with knits, a lot of times I leave them raw. If you can see, oh no, it's hemmed. Anyway, this one is actually hemmed, but usually I a lot of times will not hem my uh, knit garments. I don't know. I don't mind it, the look of the raw, and so I just usually, a lot of times, leave them. So this is also up to you if you wanted to leave it raw. That would be fine with me. <laughs> All right, let's go sew that neckband on and hem it, and then I'm gonna show you just what it looks like. All right, I will start in the back. Actually, no, we're doing a V-neck. With a V-neck, I start at the front, at the V, because I'm going to catch that V in there like so and go up match those seams right sides together I mean those raw edges and pull on that clip and go so you get to that quarter point remove it and go to the next quarter point by matching up those raw edges again as I get to the end again I'm pulling on that v right here and catching it to close it off. All right, my friends, laundry day tea 
well, dress version is done. This is the, like I said, the V-neck version. I actually love how the V-neck fits um, and it is super flattering to my body. I was a little bit worried because when I measured myself, I landed somewhere between the small and medium, like right smack in the middle. And it said, um, if you are in between to go a size down. And I was a little bit worried because I was like, yeah, I hope it's not too small, but it fits just perfectly. I think the measurements were perfect. I did add length to my dress because I am 5'7", so I added like, I think two inches. I didn't need to add that much, but um, I like my dress a little bit longer. Um, everything else stayed the same, just as per pattern. I did not hack anything. And I think it looks really, really great. Um, I can see myself making a lot more of these. And I, like I said, this is a free pattern. Uh, if you check out their Facebook page, there will be a Facebook code to use on uh, buying this pattern. So if you go to their website, Love Notions, and you look for the Laundry Day tea, um, tea which is also the dress, um, is going to say an amount. But if you go and join their Facebook group and you look under the announcements, there is a code to get this pattern for free. So go ahead and do that. Grab it and sew it up with me. And then comment below and let me know what you think about this pattern and what you think about this tutorial. And also let me know what other free patterns are out there that you just love and you want me to sew up with you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have a great rest of your day and let's sew again some other time.